Hi, it's Randy from Tileno.net. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to show you how to transfer your photographs onto fresco tiles. It's really creative and it's really fun and a great way to express your photographs. This is a fresco tile in which I've transferred a picture onto the surface. And this is the Tileno imaging paper that I have right here in my hand. And all I've sim simply done is printed out the picture in a laser format off a printer or off a photocopier and transferred it right onto the surface. So that's what I'm going to show you here today. What we have here are two photographs. One's done on regular paper, one is done on Tylano imaging paper. What we're going to do today is transfer them onto the fresco tiles. So what we're going to show you is the difference between regular paper transfer and a Tylano transfer. Okay, so now you're ready to seal your image. The first thing you do is you want to seal the image of your photograph. And you're going to use the Tylano medium by dipping your brush in simply about this much, which you can see is about half an inch and then quickly work over the surface of your photograph, going back and forth and making sure that you get a nice clean coat over the surface, but not to overwork it, because if you overwork it, then the image will lift. So just about what I've done right there is just about right. So now I'm gonna apply some medium to the entire surface of the tile, because that's where I want my picture to go. So dip in a few times into your medium and get a nice liberal amount of Tylano medium over the entire surface of the tile, just like I'm doing right here. I'm coating it and getting nice even strokes and making sure that there's no areas that doesn't have any medium. So you can be quite liberal with the product. So now that's coated and I'll take my picture. I know I have the registration marks for the corners. I place it. I know that it's straight. Give it a little bit of a wipe and take the spatula and going clockwise pull from the center out to the edges. And to be firm with it too, not to be too gentle, you can be quite firm and pressing and making sure that you push the medium out to the edge so it oozes out the edge. Almost like you're pushing toothpaste out of your toothpaste canister, I guess. <laughs> so there's no air bubbles, which is good. That's what I wanted to achieve. It's nice and flat, and now I just got to let it dry. You can let it dry in the oven for about 15 minutes at 150 degrees, or let it dry for a couple, air, a couple hours and let it air dry. So now we're going to do a transfer using the Tylenol imaging paper. Pretty much the same process that we just did with the regular paper. Dip your brush in, get a nice liberal amount of medium onto the surface of the tile because that's where you want your image to lie face down. So I'm doing nice even coats and again you can be a little bit liberal with the medium here because you're just going to coat the entire surface and make sure that you have more than enough because that's the secret to doing a great transfer. So there we go. Take the transfer, take the tile, transfer paper, and put it face down. That's nice and smooth now with my hands, I know. Now I can take my spatula and work from the center out. And again, you can be quite firm, pressing, making sure that you're oozing some of the medium out to the surface of the edges of the tile. No air bubbles means I'm going to have a very good transfer. Now you're just going to let that dry for about 15 minutes at 150 degrees in the oven or you can let it air dry for a couple hours. Okay, so now we have the two tiles transferred and they're ready to be peeled. On this tile we have regular paper with a photograph on it and on this tile we have Tylenol paper with our photograph on it. So now all I need to do is take some water, it's lukewarm water, and coat the surface of the tiles. And the water is part of the transfer process, it's a, sort of a, a natural way of stripping the image off. So this is kind of the old way of doing transfers on regular paper. So you want to coat the entire surface and you start to see it absorb on the surface of the tile. And here's the Tylano imaging paper. You put the water on the entire surface of the tile much like you just did over here. But it seems to absorb a little bit quicker, doesn't it? You start to see an image almost right away. So what we're going to do is going to let that water sit on there for about 15 to 30 seconds and then you can peel it off. Here's the other paper that we just put some more water onto the surface. And now we're going to have to try to reveal the image. So you can see it's starting to absorb. And traditionally, this is how you would start to wipe the surface of the tile of the image. You have to sit and wipe and wipe and wipe. <laughs> it becomes a little bit laborious at times because it takes quite a while to get the image off. So you can see this can take quite a bit of time. And once that dries, I have to do it again and again to make sure I get rid of all the paper and the cotton that's involved in that paper. Here's the Tylenol imaging paper. 
and it's about ready to peel. So what you want to do is pick a corner and peel. So there you go. One peel, or you can do multiple peels. But we like to work with the Thailand Imaging Paper because it gives you photo resolution every time within minutes. Okay, so now we're just going to add some more water onto these Thailand transfers that are already done. Simply take a little bit of water and coat the entire surface of the tiles. And we're just showing you the ease and simplicity of this process. We've got an 8x8 here, tile done with Jack and Tiana's image on it. And it's just like doing water tattoos that you would do on your skin, very similar to that process. Coat the entire surface of the tile, and you begin to see the image. And you just have to wait about 15 to 30 seconds, and then you're able to peel the image right off. That's a coaster. That's a fresco tile. And here we have a nice little 2x2 tile.